One of the questions that we get a lot in the office is asking when can I plant something, when is it safe to plant, or will my plants be damaged? So today what we're going to talk about is the last frost and freeze date and also talk about a little bit of the damage that people got in their gardens when we had colder temperatures the week after Easter and also maybe even a little hail damage. So whenever we're talking about the last frost and freeze date, we actually are talking about probability and statistics. Uh, how likely is it going to be that we have a frost or a freeze on certain dates? The National Weather Service actually computes this looking at the data from the last three decades and they take a look at the last dates that there are frosts in the year, they compute an average, and they make some tables of those probabilities. And what they do is they provide those probabilities for 50% or 90% uh, or 10%. And we look at those differences and what we can see is that on certain dates it is 50% likely or less that we're going to have frost. That's one of the dates that we look at. Then we also can look at the 10% probability. That means that it's basically almost impossible that we'll have frost on that date. And what we can do is use those dates whenever we're planning and planting our garden. Sometimes when I ask people when their last frost date is, they'll tell me that it's Mother's Day. Uh, and that's sort of a good time to think about those probabilities, but really it depends on where you are in the state. For us here in Omaha, our 50% chance of last frost is April 21st. That means it's about 50-50. If we want to be a little bit more sure, we go out to the 10% date. That's 10% that the, that the temperature will be that degree or colder, and that is May 4th. Now if we look at some of the extremes in the state, we go all the way out to Agate, Agate uh, Fossil Bed National Park. That is the longest time we have to go until we get a frost-free date. Those are June 9th for 50% and July 2nd for the 10% frost date. And on the other corner of the state, Falls City, April 19th is the 50% date and the 10% date is May 2nd. So what can you plant in your vegetable garden based on those times and those dates? Well, the things that are really susceptible to frost are the warm season plants like tomatoes, peppers, eggplants. Those cannot stand a frost at 32 degrees and they will die. However, some of those other crops that we grow like cabbage, broccoli, cold crops, spinach, onions, they can go in before those dates because they are cold hardy. Whenever we're looking at some of those crops though, they don't tolerate a freeze, which is at 28 degrees, and that's a whole other set of numbers that we're looking at. And that's had farmers and gardeners scrambling this week after Easter because the temperatures have gotten to that critical point where they could freeze even some of those cold hardy crops. 